Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Danny B, Wild 105.7 and 96.7. And today, I'm here at Jungle Nightclub for a fundraiser for Aid Atlanta. It's called Dancing with the Drag Queens. I was invited out, and I could not pass up the opportunity to, you know, do something good, feel good about myself doing something support a great cause and get a little entertainment out of it. We are going to be interviewing some of the drag queens. It's going to be awesome. They've been talking about how they've been getting their routines together to dance with these professional dancers. So it should be a great show. Make sure you keep it locked. Danny B, Downtown Danny, Dancing with the Drag Queens. I expect it to be a very entertaining, cool show. I'm with one of the hosts here, Miss Phoenix. How are you? I'm great. How are you, baby? I am great. What made you sign on to do this? A paycheck. No, okay. <laughs> um, um, you know what? I, I'm actually, a, I host several things throughout the city. And, you know, I, I love bringing these kind of events into the city and doing something different. You know what I mean? And so when they approached me with the idea, I was like, that sounds like so much fun. I've seen, you know, Dancing with the Stars like most people have. And that it's a fun show to watch. So now being able to bring it to Atlanta and to with a whole other twist is a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Now I'm here with the cast of Red. How are all of you? <laughs> and I play Raphael Wolf. How exciting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm hoping I don't have to run with that wolf. <laughs> How excited are you guys to be a part of this project? Let me start. Yeah, w thrilled. I actually live in Florida, so I did live here for 18 years in Atlanta, but um, it's kind of nice to come back to my former hometown. And they're wonderful, really great talent and a great cast. We've had a lot of fun even in the cold weather, but I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Got you. Tell us a little bit about what Red is about. Well, Red is is basically off, a spin off of uh, Red Riding Hood. That's basically, you know. That's basically I can tell you right now. Oh, he's not going to tell me. He's not going to. I can't. But his character's can't. last name is Wolf, so definitely yeah. he's not oh. the good guy. Yeah, I can't tell you, you know. I can't look at him for too long. I'm a, <laughs> I think I'm a bit scared. But <laughs> And Miss Red, how is it being the young Danzo in distress of this? It's exciting. I'm so excited to get started. Um, I love the script, and again, I love this cast. I love um, working with these people, and I think it's going to be a blast. Um, hopefully, it'll it will we'll have a great time. Got you. And what brings you guys out here tonight for a Dancing with the Drag Queen? Yeah, we're just here to uh, to support a great cause and um, you know help support our show, and, and then also a great cause with this. So we're looking forward to a good night tonight. So, what? is the most exciting thing you think you'll see? What are you anticipating? It's probably gonna have to be the drag queens. Uh, <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like this, so. Where are, I'm, you, where are you from? I hear a little draw. I'm, I'm from Loganville, Georgia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Gotcha. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to us. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Right here, I have with me the man of the hour, <laughs> Mr. Casey Guess. How are you? I'm wonderful, sweetie. How are you? I am great. So what ma What was the master plan behind Dancing with the Drag Queen? Um, we were just sitting around one night and talking about um, how we're going to do a fundraiser. Um, it is an Aid Atlanta fundraiser. Um, and we thought, wouldn't it be funny to put some drag queens with professional men dancers <laughs> and compete each week? And um, the next day we had everything signed and the girls signed on and wow. it was very fast, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great show. I am so excited. Do you have a favorite queen? Do I have a favorite queen? Oh, they're standing behind me. I can't, can't say out loud. <laughs> uh, no. Um, I love Phoenix. I'm hosting with her tonight. I love her so much. She's wonderfully talented, and I watched her on RuPaul's Drag Race, so I'm excited. Now we have our queens for the night. How are you, ladies? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go down the line and get you guys' names. Aurora Savage. Alyssa Brooks. Eva Destruction. Dynasty St. James. Fiera Ice. Okay. Who has the best dance skills out of all of you? Is she the competition? Uh, <laughs> down. Trained, <laughs> ballet. You cannot take her split. She will swiffer dust the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. No. 
<laughs> what made you guys sign on to do this fundraiser? Um, it's uh, Dancing with the Stars has just been a great show. Uh, I love the show, and it just seems like it's right up my alley. I love dancing. Why not? Are you guys nervous? Um, more so excited, I think. Um, you know, just the anticipation and the promoting and whatnot. I think that's really what's got the energy going tonight. Exactly. You yeah. know, yeah. How many hours did you guys have to practice and put in with these professional dancers? <laughs> they make it tricky. We only have two hours a week to dance for our number. Oh yeah. my gosh. And how many numbers do you guys have? Just two. We've got the production and the solo tonight. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, wow. Just two hours? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready as well, everybody. We're ready. <laughs> ready. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me. I'm going to let you guys finish getting ready. All right. And I'll thank see you. you guys on the dance floor. <laughs> okay, now I'm with tonight's judges. I'm going to go through and get you guys' name. Hi, I'm Michael Robinson. Hi, I'm Barry Brandon. Hey, I'm Juan. What are you guys judging on? What are you looking for? I'm looking for a star wow factor, but also I'm looking for them to put their own artistry into what they're doing. No, same, actually the same thing, that wow factor. You know, some, some, some people always say when you're watching performers, there's something about that person that you can't take your eyes off of them. It's that X factor, that wow factor that you can't pinpoint. So it's when everything comes together and it's just right. So that's what I'm looking for. And you? I'm looking to be entertained. Um, I'm going to be critiquing wardrobe, choreography, overall look, stage presence, all of it. Um, so I, I just really want to have fun as I watch the show. What's up, Danny? Be here with one of the professional dancers. How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Q Harper. Gotcha. And what moved you to be a part of this? What moved me to be a part of this? Um, I'm not going to say the paycheck. <laughs> it helps. But um, honestly, I just like the opportunity to do anything that I can use my craft. Awesome. What's new with you? What? Where can people see you? Are you dancing anywhere else? Any other shows lined up? Yes. Um, I perform with my crew, Royal Flush crew. Um, we do a lot of things separately, but then we always come together to keep it uh, the royal family. Um, me and my partner, Cloud, we both teach at Dance 411. Um, I teach at a lot of different schools, Dance, dance 101 and um, Crudy Dance Academy. And we do a lot of like a lot of random workshops throughout the year, throughout the country. So it's, it's fun. It's always dance 24 seven, you know, so. How has life changed since America's Best Dance Crew? How's life, it's got busy, very, very busy. But it's a good busy though. It's a, uh, it opened the doors to do what I love to do. So I, I'm grateful for it. Awesome. Okay, it's time to bring this edition of Downtown Danny to a close. Dancing with the Drag Queens was pretty freaking awesome. Like, the things these chicks can do in heels. Just amazing. Flips, kicks. I I can't. I'm going to practice, though. I'm really ill. So I'm about to be out and leave. So don't stress. Be blessed. And until next time, peace.